Yeah, so Bitspark is a B2B currency exchange platform, essentially. We use cryptocurrency in order to exchange that for national currencies all around the world. And often our clients are other businesses. So they are other money transfer companies in the industry that are looking to exchange their local currency for Bitcoin or some other currency uh, elsewhere. So we, we help them to do that. Uh, and uh, we operate in many of the, the largest sort of money transfer countries, whether it's Hong Kong, Singapore, London, uh, Dubai, and so on. So. Yeah, I think originally we were focused on going to the retail customer. We were looking at going to the customer to help them send their money overseas quicker, faster and cheaper and so on. Uh, we had our technology base, which was still using the cryptocurrency, the blockchain, in order to send the money at the end of the day. Uh, but in order to actually acquire the customer, uh, we found ourselves sort of focusing more on, on going direct to them. Now, that, that is something of which you can do, but it is very difficult to, to scale that as a business. You know, you really need to have a lot of money, you know, you have to invest a lot in marketing and, uh, and sales in order to, to grow your consumer base. And it's already very competitive, as it, or, you know, as, as it is in Hong Kong, it's one of the most competitive uh, money transfer corridors in the world. So um, what we found was that actually what made more sense was for us to be friends with the existing money transfer shops rather than a, just another competitor. Uh, so we saw that uh, sort of moving our product towards being a back-end provider for them to be able to help them move the money. We're still using our blockchain cryptocurrency technology at the end of the day, which is our main cause, you know, that's what we wanted to do. Um, but if we get, you know, one business on board, they already have all of their customers. So we don't need to go and acquire all of our customers ourselves. We just get one business and then we get the, the flow through effects from that. So uh, we found that that was the, the better business model and we started on that way in 2015 and it's been like that ever since. Yeah, so the remittance industry is, I mean, it's a pretty old industry. It's been around for many, many decades. In fact, Western Union's, I think, over 150 years old, something like that. And they're still the biggest in the world. Uh, you know, they, they have a, a recognisable brand, uh, physical money transfer shops, moving cash in and cash out. Uh, and essentially, that's how the industry works, is that you've got to be able to move cash. Because in many places around the world, people don't have bank accounts. So, you know, essentially what, what we do is we look for those agents that have the problem of how do I move cash competitively? Um, how do I exchange my local currency for another currency somewhere else? Um, you know, I, can I do that via cryptocurrency using you know, Bitcoin or something like that? Um, so, you know, that is a, a small section of the number of money transfer companies that are out there. Uh, but we've seen recently over the last few years that banks are making it a lot more difficult in this industry to operate. Um, that there is a phenomenon called de-risking, whereby the money transfer companies are losing their bank accounts. Uh, and they, they, they may have operated entirely fine for the last two decades, they might have a, a license and you know, everything's fine and wonderful, but the bank just says, look, we don't want to service this industry anymore. So what we provide is a solution for them to be able to maintain their business, keep sending money, but using the cryptocurrency instead, and therefore they don't need a bank. Um, so you know, a lot of the customers that come to us are these companies that are looking for that solution uh, you know, to, to perhaps be able to exchange money without the need for a bank. I think that um, there are a lot of remittance companies that are looking into using blockchain technology, but they don't quite know where or, or how. Um, and you know, there are different companies like Ripple or Stellar that are signing partnerships with many banks around the world to try and move money better. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what does it mean to the actual business? Can the business move money quicker, cheaper, faster? That is the ultimate goal. Um, and what we usually tell money transfer companies is think of using cryptocurrency just like another revenue stream. So currently, if you're a money transfer company, maybe you, you send money, maybe you uh, provide airtime top-up credit, maybe you sell food and drink as well, that's certainly the case here in Hong Kong. Um, you make some margin on all of those different products. Uh, you can do the same in cryptocurrency, so it's about 7 to 6 Seven uh, percent, you know, to eight percent in Hong Kong as a as a margin for cash to, to Bitcoin, which is quite quite high. Um, if you're doing a remittance transaction, it's less than one percent. So the margins are much better if you're you know offering uh, cryptocurrency as a product, um, and and that's how we sort of look to companies to just get involved in it. So offer it as a product first, see if it makes sense for your business. Uh, think about it as just an extra way to to make some additional margin. And if you want to use it for money transfers after that fantastic that is also possible but it's just providing an easy way you know into the system in the first place